Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. What's the crack with you? Are you well? Are you good? Thank you very much for coming back, because today we are playing Watch Dogs 2. Now, this is actually a time-limited demo that is available on the PlayStation Network. Uh, from what I've heard, it's three hours of gameplay that you get uh, from downloading this. This is that you download the entire game. And the challenge for me is, how much of the single-player campaign can I power through in the three hours that are given to us? So this is going to be like a mini-series here on the channel, which may continue on if Watch Dogs 2 kind of like catches my attention. But otherwise, this is going to only be what you are capable of doing in the campaign for single player on the demo within the time limited three hours involved. If that's what if that's what this demo is, because that's what I've heard people say it is. But I haven't actually opened this thing myself to try it out. So this could be interesting. This could also be shit. Um, I don't know anything because I've never played Watch Dogs. I have Watch Dogs 1. Not even put it into my console at any point. Never got around to it. So uh, let's take a look. This is Watch Dogs 2. Be interesting. Dead sack. Hacking phones. A face sock. I feel like I should have put on a face sock before this, or at least a baseball cap. <laughs> Being hacked, hacked, <laughs> my friend. Very full spin and experience epileptic seizures. Do they know? Ha! Amazing. These, looking at these command line prompts and actually this kind of opening stuff, it reminds me of back in the days whenever I used to modify um, auto AXZ dot bats. That video game's a work of fiction, is it now? So um, I used to uh, edit auto AXZ bat dot bats whenever I was trying to play Quake for the first time, and I think I was like, what, eight, nine at the time? And pretty much all I did was a trial version of Watch Dogs 2 begins. Now the trial lasts for three hours, plenty of time for you to start exploring the San Francisco Bay Area, take on operations with DeadSec. Recap in a multiplayer and co-op with your friends or free room through the iconic city by the bay. The city of San Francisco is yours to explore. Go forth and hack. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah. Premium content. Uh, blogs, other things, all this other stuff sitting here in the settings. Just want to very quickly go through and see what kind of stuff's actually listed here. My preferences. Uh, voice chat on. Blah, 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 blah. Allow friends to join. Bounty Hunter. All the appearances there. On and gameplay, anything important I need to worry about? Uh, no, turn you down to easy. Game assist on default. Okay, one lower than easy. I wonder if the first thing because it actually seemed to show the logos for it. Um, I like this opening title screen. It's just kind of it's so nice and active about it. It does remind me of an old school uh, game as well. Brightness. I need to turn that up a tiny touch for you guys on the stream. I think that should be enough there. Uh, HUD. HUD! Yeah, we'll keep all the hoods on. We need to know what's going on in the early parts of this gameplay. I imagine there's actually should be a really good way to kind of like remove the original HUD whenever you've, uh, if you're going to use like the photo mode and stuff in this. These games are got really, really common with the photo modes, and I should bring back the series that I had, um, Game of View. But let's talk about that or talk about starting the game. Any point in time you can change the difficulty. Uh, uh, yep, that's grand. Loading, loading, loading. Dead Zack is not loading. I don't know what's going on. Oh my. Wow, this is. I was like, I was like looking at that there, going like, uh, if this is going to be like three hours of me watching the game load, it can go fuck itself. Botnet. But let's get into it. Come on, game. You can do it. Put your stuff. Just a little bit of pace going. Come on. Oh, come on. Uh, it's like... Uh, admittedly, I can understand it's kind of like, um, what, GTA levels of loading, because you're loading an entire city into the game, but... Jesus, come on. First startup. Should be into a tutorial anyway, so get that stuff loaded. Initiation retro. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to bypass Bloom security doors and get inside. Then find and erase your personal CTOS profile. Whatever they have on me, it's all bullshit. 
and I'm sick of getting harassed for it. All the more reason for a purge. We'll be watching. Try to keep up. By the way, we put this playlist together to set the mood. Hope you like it. Oh, that's sweet. But I'm going to have someone that's going to get definitely completely removed whenever I actually go to put this online. That's a really smart move of them. Um, ooh, this is teaching me a tutorial, is it? Okay. In active combat, we'll perform a melee circle. Okay. Bam! Knockout! Down you go, boy! <laughs> Alright, so that opens the equipment reel. Oh, there's my stun gun. Alright, so where am I going here? Over and under. Uh, okay. How do I get down there without killing myself? <gasps> Whoop! Oh, that kind of counted. I need to get over again. I also need camera. How do I hack the camera? Right, he's coming my way anyway. <clears throat> That's important enough. If he's coming my way, then I can kick his ass. Get around. There is. Okay. Down you go. Come on now. Go where to go? Up here. Okay. I like the quick snap to corners. Ooh, what's that? Pick up. I like pickups. Oh, somebody's tablet. So just like throw a tablet at somebody, bounce it off their head. Yeah. Okay, how do I hack? <clears throat> Profile it, um R three Nen hack. Oh, okay, I need to find the terminal. Ah, there we go. Oh, I got it. Boom, sorted. So since you have like a detective vision to be able to find the objects that I need to hack, I then go up to them whenever I have my phone in hand. That gives me access to whatever it is that they're connected to. Boom, sorted. Nice parkour skills, lad. You're really unnecessary to actually do that backflip off the top floor. You're wasting your time. Who's wasting whose time? I did that as fast as possible. He's not in. Ah, uh, whatever. Gotcha. So that's him. Uh, so since you get to the point now where you're just going to steal my identity in some way, shape, or form, Arnie's? Problems are why you keep me around, right? Time him. I'm curious. Too late. He's in. Oh. Not too late to time me. Ha! Don't say I don't know. I have no idea. Nuh uh. No synonyms either. Give me a real answer. I'm just not that into aliens or video games. It's not just any alien. It's. Oh, come on. Anyone else having a problem with their phone? Oh, what? Oh, God. Oh, God. Damn! That's gonna take somebody's head off, really. I mean, that's really unfair. It's... Retro. The home domain awareness hacker? That retro? Yes. We told you that already? 
Yeah, I never listen. I need to get upstairs then. Where do I get into the next base if I need to get up there? That's where I need to go, so somebody has a key. He's the one that has a key. That's not to do what I need to do. So. Yeah. Why is he red though? Because essentially by him being red implies that he has the key, does he? Because otherwise I need to find the key somewhere else. Act open or close. Yeah. I imagine he's the one with the access key, would he not be? Yes, I can... Oh. How do I get that? I can't get through. Oh, I can go through here, can I? No. If I need to get to there... Get the key. Oh, right. Now I get you. How do I hack the... Right, okay, so I was just getting confused by the camera, so the, the methodology of this. Then from each one of these, I can actually... Here. All right, so I'm just dancing from camera to camera here. Alright, so this is interesting. So essentially I use this to kind of like get my way around every single computer system that's here. By doing that. And there's a camera in everybody's devices in some way, shape, or form. Oh, they're all connected. Alright. Okay. That puzzles away at me. Um, <laughs> just like I'm not, I don't know what like exactly how useful every single one of those computers being accessed is because I'm never going to be back in this location. But, um, I used to get the idea of actually being able to open doors, get around places. So what's his deal? He was raised in Oakland, but was born in... <laughs> his deal is, he's been hanging around the DedSec IRC, and he's got cred. Figured we'd give him a test drive. On the hardest difficulty, nobody's been able to delete their CTOS profile before. I want to see if he's smart, stubborn, or both. Oh, damn. Well, that's him down, at least. Oh. 
Down he goes. So essentially, I'm just going to knock one after another of these guys down <laughs> and make my way upstairs so I don't get caught by anybody. But um, I'm pretty sure I'm meant to do this like all stealthy balls, but uh, I'm not very good at stealthy ball shit. Never really works for me. And down you go. Then I managed to hack it. <laughs> I just have no idea what I'm really doing otherwise. He's done this before. CTOS tagged him as the prime suspect in a high-tech burglary, so... He's done time? Community service. Not enough evidence. Just the word of CTOS's predictive algorithms. Uh, once in the system? Always in the system. Holy shit! He went for it. You won't have much time before the backups kick in. Up he gets. Well, there we go. Managed to make it into a slot box thing to hide inside. I don't know what this is. He's going in the hot aisle. It's a oh, toasty warm. Yeah, 100 de 120 degrees Fahrenheit, might I add, just, just for our European audience. It is. You can't stop the signal, man. Pack the planet. in the system. Nobody's gotten that far. This is like the secret cow level. And Jesus Christ reference the secret, secret cow level. Boop, boop. It's just a referencing secret cow level doesn't make you smart or clever. It's just, oh God. What do I need? All right, not this. Not that difficult. It's right there. Done and dusted. Puma. What the fuck? Why is my threat so high? Jesus. This is bullshit. Yeah, fuck that history. Get that shit deleted. Get the fuck rid of it. Delete everybody's while you're at it. Fuck. Yeah, man. Fuck. 
or I could just delete. Bye bye. Yeah. Yeah, I might as well just delete the whole goddamn profile, really. Ah, create new identity. Fantastic. Um. Anarchist, Hollywood blockbusters, celebrity interior designer, new multinational, CTO of a field startup, director of first impressions, drug mule, former model, game reviewer. There we go. <laughs> Looks like Frash Frash, to be honest, out of anybody. I might go back to that um, game reviewer. Sells DVDs to Japanese market. Media guru, stay at home dad. Uh, we're going back and we're going to go with game reviewer. All right, 36 year old game reviewer. That's who we are now. Not like they're actually anything really close to what I really am. Sorry, Bloom. We got unfinished business. Boom, boom. Well, He's obviously, we made a lot of progress today. Okay, L1 to hacking module, exit trigger object function, create a proximity trigger, shut down object, and connect people to. Crazy! That worked. On you go. Okay, there's too many of them. Uh, that's not a good sign. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing here, but I think I managed to actually make it most of the way out. I need to get my way out the door, so if I go this way, go out, close the doors after myself. Be down the stairs at least. Damn it! 
Sergeant, I lost him. Uh, on the way out the door. Ah! This meter's done. Oh, seriously, from here? Uh, any other way down other than the stairs? Oh, fuck it, I could probably go go at this door and bolt it. Hit the fuck close again. Problem solved. Alright, partially there. Shit! Oh, there we go. I made it out the door. Not a problem. All easy peasy. Just fine. Hold it right there. Help him. Where the fuck am I go? Josh! <laughs> nice. He just jumped out of an air vent? In 2013, Chicago realized the promise of smart cities with CTOS, a citywide operating system merging big data with surveillance, security, and transit programs. Yay! Lines of code, hackers were able to hijack its central servers and cripple the entire grid. Many believed the attack would be a killing blow for smart city development. They were wrong. Coordinated from the heart of Silicon Valley, CTOS 2.0 has been implemented across the United States, ushering in the Internet of Things. 6.4 billion connected devices. Mm. Mapping and recording our daily routines, making a more secure and more invasive system. But who else is listening? Big everybody's listening. That's the whole point. It's no big brother. It's everybody's little sister. Aggregate your every move, building a complete digital profile of you to be bought, sold, or stolen in an instant. Usually sold. Study your children, reporting their play habits back to marketers. Appliances, consoles, and home security systems give corporations a window into your private life. Unless we display them publicly on stream like this anyway by anyone at any time you may think that you are immune or underestimate the risk but your digital shadow is already compromised of course it is Companies use algorithms to monitor your life habits and limit or deny coverage health providers determine if your cancer is worth treating search results and news fees are skewed to bias mood and influence your vote and yes social uprisings on a massive scale you are now less valuable than the data you produce. Data you produce. This is the new reality. Going dark is no longer an option. Yeah. Threats to personal freedom rising. Many are stepping forward. Whistleblowers, activists, and hackers have drawn their battle lines, putting the establishment on watch. But are they threats themselves, or have they become freedom's last line of defense? Freedom. We are dead sick. For the lulls! So that's me ready to join. He's going so? to shoot me in the back of the head. Am I in? We are so fucking in. Welcome to Dead Sack. <sighs> I'm Satara. This sweetheart is Josh, aka Hot Sauce. Yo, you're Hot Sauce? Yeah, man, I loved your frat house hat. Real talk. Thanks. Real talk. This weirdo's wrench. Holy, <laughs> holy. And this Casanova is Horatio. What's up, brother? What's up, man? It's the crew, huh? Took y'all long enough to come get me. Shit. You saw Bloom's bullshit. CTOS isn't just regulating infrastructure. The amount of personal data that thing is collecting is fucking mind-blowing. Yeah. It's Big Brother and Little Brother all rolled up into one. You just the fuck little huh? sister. Sees everything you do and tells on you. Thank you, Josh. So what's the fix? Sledgehammers and fire. No! Sledgehammers on fire. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, oh. All of that data in one place means they can reject your fucking application before you click on it. 
Congratulations, you have been free rejected for our credit card. Or your house, or your insurance. That's not even the worst case scenario. All that data in the hands of the government? They'll arrest you for shit before you even do it. Yeah, I've been there. I don't fucking know why. Man, fuck it! Fuck it, man. We're hackers. We, we out think, we out dare. I, I say we tear down the fucking wall. Hey, show everyone what, what Bloom's up to, man. Show, show the world that their personal data is being used to rob them of their fucking freedoms. Fuck. Weird that a video game can actually be about this topic whenever really it is actually fucking a lot of cases. Hold on. You what? We installed the back door, so all we have to do is walk through. Bingo. Bingo. Hey, man. Do you have the time? Oh, yeah, man. I, I got it. I got it. It's kind of late for a night run, isn't it? Hey, what are you, what are you running from the cops? <laughs> Maybe I am one. Hey, you, you look familiar. <laughs> Have a good party. Fucking this mother... Okay. So we start off with our main character just being absolutely shit-faced drunk to the point where he doesn't recognize somebody fucking with him. Alright, fair enough. Party time, she just joined dead sick. Time to continue the party! So ladies and gentlemen, this has been a first look at the first wee bit of Watch, Watch Dogs 2. I mean, um, I'm going to just kind of continue on playing it because this is a three hour demo. But I thought uh, this might be a good jumping off point or cutting off point before uh, we move on. If you enjoyed watching the first part of this episode and you want to see more of it, make sure to hit the subscribe button up here. And um, I'll pause it for a second. <laughs> if you liked what you saw, you can hit the subscribe button up here and actually allow you to see more from the channel as it gets released. And if you actually want to see more stuff that I've done previously or continue on the rest of the series, you can actually, of course, click the links over on this side. Um, I got not got too much to say about this game other than um, I'm going to play more of it and give a review whenever I'm finished with the three hours of experience. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next episode. So until the next time, I'll see all you dudes in the next episode. Bye.